last few days, I'll say that. Limited? Limited, yes, very limited. Uh, how is your quarterback doing today? I'd say about the same. At this point, you, you just prep both quarterbacks and be prepared for whatever happens uh, through the next few days? Yep, I think that's all you can do is make sure that getting guys ready uh, that could play in the game for anything that may come up and then have to make a decision that, uh, you know, is in the best interest of the team later in the week. How do you divvy up, up the reps? Try to split them, you know, the best that you can. You know, try to give the one, you know, the reps that you think one guy needs as opposed to what the other guy needs. Did you get popped in the eye? I need to meet the guy. Some individual work today. Yeah. Is that a sign that he's making progress? He told me I lost a step. I'm like, no kidding. I'm 43 years old. Like, if you can't block me, we're in trouble against Nagakwe. It was good. You know, I mean, I think he's he's close. You know, he just still has to get that last, I guess, clearance uh, from the from the outside doctor, um, which hopefully will come tomorrow, and then you know we can move forward. But it was good to get him out there and, and doing some stuff um, today. Jack getting closer as well. Yeah, you know, I mean, Jack did some stuff and took some reps. You know, both those guys were limited today. So it would be great to get as many guys back as we possibly could. And then I guess Kendrick, it's been a while since Kendrick Lewis has been out there. So today, how much of a aid is that to the depth? It, it, it is, and he's, he's, uh, he's a great pro. You know, he's a guy that understands when he's not in there, that he's studying, he's paying attention, he's learning the game plan so that when he gets back, uh, he's ready to go. And he can contribute and help us out. Um, he's also been, you know, diligent in his rehab, um, making sure that he's doing everything he can to get back as quickly as he possibly can. Is Dennis back around? And uh, Dennis is not yet with us. Um, he is out of the hospital, um, but uh, he, he's not uh, in the building with us right now. I anticipate that happening later in the week. Is there a chance for him on Sunday? Uh, possibly. You know, we got to get him here to work first, and then uh, make sure that the doctors clear him. Um, and then once they clear him, then we'll evaluate where he's at. I know you have to prepare for both situations, whether Fournette plays or doesn't play, but they're pretty successful even when they don't have him in the lineup. What's the dynamic change for their offense when he isn't available to them? Well, I mean, I think that uh, you know we're going to have to stop the run regardless of who's in there. Um, they got three good backs, and you could throw the quarterback in there as well. I mean, he's, he's got 77 yards on 10 carries. It's a pretty good average right now. Uh, first two games. Um, the dynamic is, you know, we, we're going to have to stop the run. And so making sure that we do that. Um, they came out in multiple personnel groups against the Giants um, that we'll have to be ready for. New England, they felt that the game plan was best played in 11 personnel. Whatever decision they made, it was the right one. They, they looked good and gained a bunch of yards. How much is the infusion of youth in the pass rush with Correa and and Harold's kind of exactly what you guys need. Well, we always need, you know, young players to, to play well and contribute. It's the nature of this business, I think, now is you get guys in here and you have to, you have to play them. Everybody on our roster that's active on the game has to play and contribute. Um, it's early in the season. It's warm. Um, and whether that be in pass rush or coverage, um, so I think that any time we get those guys in there that can help us and uh, spell some guys, back them up, or start in a certain p um, package, uh, that's great. When you look at their defense, the front end, the back end strong, Telvin Smith is a solid a linebacker. Is there an area where you could really target to attack? Well, I mean, I think that we have to appreciate um, their talent. But, you know, we got to go out and play the game. they got good players across the board. Um, you know, we have good players. And so we'll respect everybody that we play. Um, and we're in a preparation now to get ready to, to take those guys on. Like you said, they have guys that, uh, that can make plays in all three areas of their defense um, up front, um, guys with different skill sets. You got some big guys. You got some guys that disrupt. You got guys that can run in the middle. And then on the back end, they got guys with uh, good length and good playmaking ability. What did you see from the two matchups with this team, with the two teams last year? Do you look back at those games last year in to this one? Yeah, I think we look back at a lot of things. I think we look at uh, things that worked and things that we did well defensively that we 
have to continue to do. Um, things that we maybe if we gave up a play, we'll have to make sure that you know, we're conscious of the players that they're going to, or if they're guys that showed up in those games against us. Um, you know, matchups maybe that occurred between our guys and their guys. Um, you know, one on one matchups. This game comes down to one on one matchups. How certain guys did against certain players um, will be critical. You said last night that uh, you needed kind of to monitor the volume for uh, for Taiwan, which sounded like it maybe worth saying. That you can't take it all in at once or in certain plans. What can you expound on that? Well, there, there's a lot of positions. You know, I mean, you just can't go out there and line up at a position. You can, but then it becomes limited. And so the more that you have the, the ability to move guys around from a receiver and you can line up at maybe Z, can line up on at X and line up in different positions, um, then you can do different things with them. And so um, we just have to be careful how much we're overloading um, each specific player. And if a player um, can handle a lot of different spots, um, then that's what we can do. And if we can't, then we have to make sure that what we're asking him to do He's fully understanding of the concepts, uh, what's being asked of him, so that he can play fast and aggressive and can help us out. Somebody you got to be careful with. Well, I think there's a few guys. There's a lot of guys like that. You know, I mean, there's only, you know, so many guys. And I would use, you know, like Will Compton probably knows every position on our defense, um, from the defensive line to the back end, and um, that's rare. And so. You know, want to make sure that when Taewon goes out there, he's fully aware of what his job is so that he can play as fast as possible, help us, um, and not have to worry and do too much thinking. You still see some things from Blaine Gabbert that make you say, hey, that, that guy was a first-round draft pick. Yeah, he made some good throws in the game and, you know, got rid of the ball. Um, so it was good. I mean, it was, it was great to see. I mean, we needed it. We needed that throw. We needed the boot. And we needed that third-down conversion, a great pass on the third-down conversion. Came out. We had great protection in the middle of the pocket. Tajay made a great catch, um, and so that was good to see. Um, you know, and then Blaine made the boot, and so he made some throws for us that helped us win the game. Arm strength, fair to say, still one of his biggest assets. I think, yeah. You know, I mean, I think that there's times where he could probably pull a little steam off of it, but uh, you know, I don't think there's a you know issue with arm strength. Anything else? Yeah, five